Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. I want to talk to you this morning from Rick Warren's book, Seeking God for a Breakthrough. And I want to talk to you about how to have more rest and less stress. And I know it sounds like a self-help book, but I promise you the Bible is as relevant as every day. Going through this Christmas season, sometimes it's easy to get stressed. Just trying to get all of my family together for a holiday with my schedule. I mean, unfortunately, I'm the problem child. Um, It's pretty stressful. Well, it's increasingly difficult to stay focused on true things. There's so many things that want to cause stress in our life. There's so much, so many people and so many platforms and so many companies that want to give you information. So it's hard to stay focused on true things. The Bible says in Philippians 4, 8, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Now, for us to do that, it requires a mental shift. And it means we're going to have to build some new and better habits. See, your mom mind is bombarded with lies every single day. Advertisements and social media tell you that if you don't think or dress or act a certain way, you don't matter. When you're growing up, you're told that if you're not good at academics or athletics, you don't matter. This world is full of lies, and you've believed many of them, but they just aren't true. The only way to counter those lies is to fill your mind with the truth. The truth is you're a child of God. The truth is you matter to him. Jesus said that when you know the truth, that truth will set you free. To be free means to have a breakthrough. I want you to have a breakthrough, but the only way you can do that is to be in God's word, the Bible, every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. If you think you can't do that, just consider how many hours you're spending on social media or TV or reading the news. How are you going to have a healthy mind if you're filling your mind with lies instead of truth? Not everything you hear is true. Not everything you tell yourself is true. You've got to get into the Bible every day because God will always speak truth. You can trust what he says about you and the promises he's made for you in his word because God always keeps his promises. So what happens then if you do this? What happens if you get in the Word every day, if you start getting your mind on right things, not concentrating on the lies the world's telling you? What happens when you keep your mind on right things? Well, there's another verse right there, Philippians 4, 7, right beside it. It says, if you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. His peace will keep your thoughts and hearts quiet and at rest as you trust in Christ Jesus. Wouldn't you like to have your heart and mind at rest? That's a breakthrough everyone needs. Less stress, more rest. Why don't you get started on your breakthrough by getting involved personally in God's Word? So what's one thing you could do every day (coughs) that you could replace with reading God's Word? I mean... Maybe it's 10 minutes of social media. Maybe it's uh, some th- something that you do at lunchtime, or maybe it's some video game. And, and how can you know if something you hear is truth or a lie? Well, if you get in the Word of God, you're going to find the bulk of the will of God is found in the Word of God. And he says, then you're going to know the truth, and the truth's going to set you free. And, and what's one of the lies you've been repeating to yourself over the years? Maybe it's something somebody in authority over you said. Maybe it's something that, um, you know, just comes from your past or something that you've tended to believe about yourself that is not the same as what God says about you. And what does your Bible say is the truth about you? Well, let me help you. Before we pray, let me just remind you, you are loved with an everlasting love. God loved you so much, he sent his son for you. And he also loves you so much, he's coming back so that where he is, there you can be also. Because he wants to be in relationship with you. The king of the universe wants to be in relationship with you. I would say that makes you pretty stinking special. So let me pray for you this day. Father, thank you so much that uh, you don't desire us to be under stress all the time. Your desire for us, Father, is, uh, is to be in relationship and to cast all of our cares upon you because you care for us. That your burden is easy, your yoke is light, 
So help us, Father, to cast that care upon you. And help us also, Father, to focus on you by getting in your word regularly. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, I hope you have an incredible day. Go on loving God. Love one another. And while you're doing it, go be salt and light.